partner tonight is John Walcott. Welcome to another edition of LWC Super Champ. We have the final of the 152 pound Global House Tournament between Farmy Chai Saw, Chok Mi Chai, and Dern Chon Lek, Joe Fu Jim. That's gonna be a cracker. Our main event is a domestic matchup between Lutman TK Yutana and Ropas Ho Porn Poon Jim. But right now we will kick things off with the first fight on the card in the 170 pound division. And introducing first in the blue corner, Johannes Bro. He's 31 years old, stands at 195 centimeters, has 19 fights, 17 wins, and two losses. He's originally from Germany and trains and fights out of Kunsuk Muay Thai Gym. And his opponent in the red corner is Felipe da Rosa. He is 31 years old as well, 185 centimeters tall, 30 fights on his record, 29 victories and only one defeat, a very good record there. He trains out of Manop Gym in Chiang Mai and he is representing Brazil. I actually spoke to one of um, Felipe de Rosa's teammates before the show started and he was saying that de Rosa is probably one of the best fighters in his division in Brazil and he's also a champion of that division too. So it's going to be interesting to see like whether he can put his skills to the test. I think this is his first time fighting on quite a big stage in Thailand. Um, also, you've got to give a hand to um, his opponent, jo Johans, Johans Biro. He he trains out of Kunsuk Muay Thai down in Krabi, right down in the south of Thailand. And they've had in the past, they've had Superborn train there. Nong Oh, I think, was there for a short while. I think Sanchai too. So lots of experience going through the doors at Kunsuk Muay Thai right down in Krabi. Quite a small gym, but a beautiful place to go in Thailand. You definitely want to check it out. So right now we're seeing the Y crew from De Rosa in the red corner. So the Y crew is a way of paying respect to everybody that's got you to this stage, ideally to your teachers. So Y and Thai is like a greeting where you place your hands together like a prayer. And then crew is the Thai word for teacher. So Y crew means, basically means respect to the teacher and also respect to the art of Muay Thai. So the fighters will walk around and seal the ring and then they will perform their own ritual dance. At least here at LWC Super Champ, we, we have to say, we say to the fighters, you need to bow down three times uh, in your corner to complete the Y crew. And then some of them can do a longer version like we've just seen from De Rosa, where they're throwing arrows, throwing spears at their opponent, just mimicking a particular dance. Everyone's got their own different style. A lot of Thai nationals, a lot of Thai Muay Thai fighters from Thailand have ones that, uh, you know, originate really from their regional, from their particular gym. So that's a real good part of Muay Thai, and it's good to see that LWC Super Champ have held on to that. It kind of makes Muay Thai what it is, makes it unique. Yeah, despite the fact that Muay Thai is becoming more of an entertainment sport here in the country, like you said, we still have the traditional aspects so great to see LWC continuing with that. Okay, here we go. Round number one underway. Good height advantage for Johannes. Yeah, 10 centimeter height advantage for Johannes. Let's see if he can use it. Yeah, probably expecting him to stay on the outside, use those long attacks, but good job there. Ready from Felipe. Huge right. the distance, yeah. Huge right hand goes straight over the top. Inside literally the first 15 seconds. See if DeRosa can finish the job in round number one. Yeah, that's going to boost his confidence. Huge uppercut. That's a very underutilized punch in Muay Thai. You don't normally see that a lot. And it looked like that just skims the chin of B-roll, of Bro. Yeah, he's got to get out of that corner, especially against a big puncher like Felipe. Playing the defense, you'd like to see him attack just a little bit more, break up the combinations coming in from the Brazilian. I think he's still slightly dazed and wobbly there, there from that low kick. Yeah, exceptional job again there with the uppercut. Just stumbling Johannes again. I'm not sure he's recovered from that knockdown. I don't think Joh Johannes has recovered from the knockdown just yet. Also, ladies and gentlemen, you saw Felipe trying some acrobatics there. So uh, fighters at LWC Super Champ, they went by head kick. 
spinning back elbow or flying knee, they get an extra 10,000 bar as a knockout bonus. So it's like Felipe's trying to get that. Don't blame him. A lot of blood coming from the nose of Johannes as well. It's going to cause some trouble breathing. Let's try and set his shots up, though. Johannes. He really needs to use, like you said before, John, needs to use his jab, needs to use his long weapons to try and keep DeRosa at bay. Hasn't really done that too much. Yeah, you gotta imagine that nose is broken right now. I mean, there's a lot of damage on the face there of the German fighter. It's a little bit slow to attack. Not really gaining the respect of Felipe. Good body shots now for the Brazilian. And this is exactly what you want to do against a taller fighter. You want to go to the body. You also want to do what he did earlier, where you want to attack the legs with low kicks. And we're just reconsidering that low kick right there. Still got 30 seconds to go here in our first round of our opening fight. Felipe setting the bar very high for tonight's show. Yeah, very high. Another knockdown there. Same technique as well. The right hand, he just slipped it straight over the top, lobbed it over, and that's it. That's all done in round number one. Felipe De Rosa. Wow. Welcome to LWC Super Champ, sir. What a performance. That was very impressive. Yeah, good show of respect there at the end as well. But another very exciting addition to the LWC roster. And we'll see some of that action here in the first round. The first, or no, the second knockdown. Came in with the uppercut, overhand right. And the referee's always going to keep the fighter's safety in mind here at LWC. Johannes failed to make the count. Didn't look like he was attempting to get up, so the referee waving off the bout. Okay, we'll go to the official decision. See you in the next fight. สุดยอดโอ้โหนี่แค่คู่แรกนะครับถ้าใครได้ชมการถ่ายทั้งสดเมื่อสักครู่นี้ก็จะเห็นแล้วครับว่าลันแรงไปเรื่อยๆจริงๆครับและผู้ชนะคู่แรกของวันนี้ครับ The winner by TKO goes to Red Corner Felipe De Rosa วันนี้เช็คบินได้อย่างสุดยอดเลยทีเดียวนะครับ2นาที50วินาทียกแรกเท่านั้นนะครับโอ้โหนี่แขนเสื้อแขนของตากล้องผมยังเลอะเลือดอยู่เลยนะครับเอาละครับเดี๋ยวจะพักกันสักครู่เดียวครับแล้วเดี๋ยวกลับมามันกันต่อกับ LWC Super Champ พีโนมอบสิ่งที่พิเศษตั้งแต่การเริ่มต้นของธุรกิจคุณเพื่อสร้างความสุขและรอยยิ้มให้เกิดขึ้นตลอดไปสร้างรากฐานที่ดีในวันนี้เพื่ออนาคตที่ยั่งยืนและมีรอยยิ้มไปกับฮีโน่